slavery. For more, let's talk to Shuja Nawaz. He's a distinguished fellow at the Atlantic Council and the author of Crossed Swords, Pakistan, Its Army and the Wars Within. He joins me from Washington. Thank you very much. Mr. Nawaz, can you tell us what you make of the attack itself, the way that it was conducted? I understand that these were men who were dressed in the local militia's uniforms, they spoke the local um, dialect, and they emerged from a graveyard and created another one, as it were, well, a, a bloodbath of sorts, uh, when they climbed over the wall from a graveyard into this military-run school? Well, it quite simply put, it was an act of revenge, uh, a revenge because they feel that the Pakistan military operation that had thrown out their leadership, destroyed their headquarters, destroyed their command and control structures in North Waziristan, um, and this was a, a, an act of revenge for that. Uh, most of the leaders of the TTP had escaped to neighboring Afghanistan That's or to other parts of, yes, uh, or to the uh, the other agencies within the federally administered tribal area, uh, or even uh, into Pakistan proper. Uh, but the uh, momentum of their activities had been uh, destroyed. So now uh, they, you see this as a kind of outburst to say that for the Taliban to say that they are still a force to be reckoned with and they've done it in this extremely bold and brutal way? Well, it, it was partly an act of desperation, too, because it took them quite a while to get this together. It was, uh, by, by most accounts, not a major operation in the sense that it involved very few people. But it was the brutality of the action uh, which was really going to now create perhaps an opportunity for Pakistan to get its political act together, uh, to coalesce uh, behind uh, the government and to bring the military and the civil on the same page in fighting uh, terrorism uh, of all hues. Um, speaking of which, this was very deliberately um, targeted at the military. Most of the children who went to this military-run school were children of military officers, uh, rank and file. Everyone in the neighborhood seems to have known people who are at this school. Um, it seems to have been an attempt to also weaken the morale of the military. Um, but the military is also an important political force, which people have to understand looking from outside into Pakistan. So how will this affect the way that the military deals both in the field of combat and in the political landscape? Well, this is not the first time that they've, they've attacked uh, civilian targets uh, related to the military. There was an attack uh, on a mosque in the Westridge part of Rawalpindi some years ago, which, among others, killed the son of the then corps commander in Peshawar. Uh, most of the, uh, the officers whose children's, children went to this school uh, probably worked for the same uh, corps in Peshawar, uh, and the, the, the men were probably fighting in, in North Waziristan and elsewhere. So uh, this is really related to the military's operations uh, as a vengeful act on the part of the Taliban. Uh, but they, they obviously just, have no uh, qualms about attacking them. Let me just uh, uh, in, intervene here, because, uh, Mr. Nawaz, there is this accusation against some elements of the military that they've been um, coddling elements of the Taliban, um, and that this might be an opportunity to bring those elements to account. Well, I don't think it's so much a question of coddling, but there was an accusation and continues to be one that there is differentiation between different types of Taliban. Most often that is related to a differentiation between the Afghan Taliban and the Pakistani Taliban. And the military is now openly declaring that they will not differentiate. I think this offers an opportunity for the military as well as for the civilian government to show that they will actually not differentiate. Uh, but the results of that is really, are really going to be evident once they capture many of the leaders or kill the leadership uh, of all the different Taliban groups. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you, Shuja Nawaz, live to us from Washington, D.C.